What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about frog fishing and it's a recently asked question that you guys have asked on my videos and also not only you guys but you know a few people have asked me that I've been fishing with they're like what color frog should I throw and why I should throw it so I'm gonna keep this video very 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 basic to you guys and teach you guys a little bit about picking colors when frog fishing. <laughs> Look at that, baby. So let's go ahead and get this started. So as you guys can tell, I got my frog box right here. Guys, I got a ton of frogs. As you guys can tell, there's a lot of frogs in here in this box. And let me uh, show you guys what pretty much the basics that I'm going to be talking about. As you guys can tell, you know, I got some, you know, standard, you know, green and yellow frogs. Um, I even got some hollow belly sunfishes in here. Um, I got some popping frogs. As you can tell, you can actually see some teeth marks on that one caught so many fish on that one um what else we got we got big mama for when you really want to catch a big one that one's in a uh, green and yellow this one's supposedly a bird i believe i got this one in my lucky tackle box last year i want to say that one that one's juicy you got a white popping frog right there you got a straight yellow one right here i mean guys there's tons of colors um this one's white got a little bit of red um, under the lip of it and blue on top and this one's also this one's translucent in a way I don't know if you guys can see that that one's kind of translucent guys there's so many frogs out there um, this one's a, a bronze eye shad so many frogs out there and when when choosing the right frog I like to keep it very simple I like to keep it very basic I know I have a lot of colors in here but I'm gonna layer it down to you guys as simple as I can and pretty much state what I'm trying to state because when it comes to frog fishing, guys, if you look at, I mean, look at this bronze eye shad. You see the bottom of that? I mean, that's pretty much white, right? That's white. The top's kind of blue. It's a little bit of translucent color. You got this yellow one. I mean, it's obviously yellow on the bottom. You got this green popping frog. It's obviously yellow on the bottom. You got this brown one. It's obviously brown on the bottom. Right here, these are two that I picked out. This is actually a white frog by uh, Jackal. If you guys haven't checked out Jackal's frogs, they actually make some pretty sick frogs. If I'm throwing a frog, I'm either throwing a Spro or a Jackal. I'll pretty much layer it down to those two. Um, I'm not affiliated with any of these brands. That's just what I've used for the past years. But majority of the time, I'm, I'm working with a Spro or a Jackal frog. Um, Jackal, I seem to have a better hookup ratio when throwing this bait. Um, I don't have any popping frogs by them, but I do have their just standard old frog right there. So this is a white one, and this is a black Spro. As you guys can tell on the bottom, you got white and you got black. I mean, these are two simple colors right here. And this is this is where it's going to come very simple. You know, when you're buying frogs and they're fairly expensive. I mean, when you're over here purchasing frogs, frogs are pretty expensive. I mean, you're dropping a solid $10 to $20 on a frog. Um, sometimes, I mean, you can get cheaper ones for like $5. But I'm going to be honest with you. They're going to get filled up with water and it's not going to be worth it. You might as well go with a Spro. Pay a little bit more extra extra money and get you know your money's worth because it's gonna last a lot longer you're not gonna have to worry about it filling up with a bunch of water in it and having to you know squeeze all that water out or it not popping right or it diving in it's better off just to pay a little bit extra money and get you know the high quality frog so let's get to the basics when I go frog fishing or if you guys are going to buy a frog right now and you guys are wondering what to buy because these are very expensive I keep it simple go with black or white simple as that you guys have all these colors. I mean, you got this one. I mean, it's kind of like a little translucent blue on top. I mean, that's white on the bottom, guys. That's white on the bottom. Why I keep talking about the bottom is because when you're working this bait, do you really think that fish sees the top of the frog? Because that fish does not see the top of this frog. Like, this one right here, this is a green frog on, on top, but it's yellow on the bottom. So what do you think those fish are seeing? They're seeing that yellow right there. They're not seeing that green. I mean, this this frog may look appealing. Like, man, that really looks like a frog. But in reality, when that fish is looking up at that frog, if you're depending on where you're throwing, it, if you're throwing in that grass, you're throwing in that lily pads, um, especially on those lily pads. I mean, I don't know if you guys next time you're out on the water, grab a lily pad. First of all, they're gonna be very rough. But see if you can pull up a lily pad. Put your hand under it, or put it on top of it and flip it over. You'll actually be able to see your hand right through the lily pad. I don't know if you guys know that. Next time I go out on the water, I'll have to do this. It's actually very, very, very neat. 
but right there all you see is is the outline of the frog it, i mean you're just going to see like a black shadow through that um even with my hand i mean you're just going to see like a black shadow that's all this fish are seeing and when that frog goes off those lily pads into the water they're seeing the bottom of this frog so i'm gonna keep it simple i know a lot of guys say you know cloudy days i'm gonna throw a white or cloudy days i'm gonna throw a black or sunny days i'm gonna throw a white sunny days i'm gonna throw a black i would just experiment with it i go out there most of the time i'm throwing a black frog i'm um, every once in a while i love a white popping frog but in this video i'm keeping it basic with just the standard frogs i'm not really going in depth with popping frogs but just keep it simple just go out there with a white and a black frog i would buy one of each simple as that start off with this black frog see if they're eating it if they're just coming up and they're swanning at it they're not really choking that bait switch over to this white one and see if they're actually eating this better because you know i've seen it on days i mean this works with any top water bait guys i mean if you're it's just the basics if you're if you're throwing a spook um you know either you're throwing a white or you're throwing a chrome you know you're throwing that chrome in the sun that white bonish color when the clouds are up you know it's just simple as that guys it's it's picking the right color that they want that day and when it comes to frog fishing i stick to the basics white and black I don't think you need a green or a yellow or a brown. I don't even mess around with those much. I do have a lot of them and I do throw them, but when it comes down to the basics, guys, when I'm just going out there fishing, this is all you need. You need a black and a white frog. You know, tomorrow they might eat this one better, but today they might eat this one better, but you just gotta experiment around with it. Whether it's sunny or cloudy, whatever it is, as you can tell, it's bluebird skies today. You just gotta experiment on what this fish want that time of day. Just switch it up, guys. Just try it. I want you guys to keep it simple. I want to keep this simple as possible for you guys. If you guys are growing frog fishing, white and black, all you need. They only see the bottom, so don't worry about the top. Don't, don't worry about that old fancy design that you see. Just look at the bottom of the frog and uh, just a bait you know which one you want to get but guys right here black and white frogs experiment around with them see what those fish want that time of day let me know if you guys want to see a popping frog fishing video or a popping frog tip video because i love popping frogs like when it comes to frog fishing if i could pick a frog any day it's a popping frog um, especially on the savannah river i'm 99 percent of the time i'm throwing a frog as a popping frog just because those pads aren't super super thick so I can actually get that popping frog through that stuff. But guys, if you enjoyed this little tip video, you guys know what to do. Be sure to smash that like button. Be sure to go follow me on Instagram at Kicking Their Bass TV. I'll pop it up on the screen. And uh, also subscribe if you haven't already. And be sure to hit that little bell. I really appreciate it if you hit that little bell because it will send you guys post notifications most of the time now. Um, YouTube's going uh, going around with some weird stuff right now. So please subscribe. Please comment below. Please like the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.